Welcome! Engines in. Running. Good. So we've got another little issue to fix today, which is the fork seals. Because they're dripping worse than a... They're leaking, is what I'm saying. So we need to take these off. Take these out. Take that off. Take the wheel out. Uh, strip them down and put some new fork seals in. Probably find some new oil in there as well somewhere. You know, just any old oil will do. It's fine. Right, let's get to it. What's first? Take the wheel out, I suppose. Slacken the bolts first. <laughs> right. Every time. And slack. Yes. And slack. Yes. And that'd be an key. Of course it would. Good. So, <clears throat> these top caps have got to come off. So slacken the clamp, then slacken them whilst it's all here. Trying to do it when it's out, that's not so easy. That's all oil in there. That's four coil. <laughs> Great. Look, look at it. Okay, forks are out. They're a little bit rusty. But that'll clean up nicely. It's not really an issue. Uh, if we have a look at this, this is all oil. It's come out of the fork seals. They're, they're, yeah, ugh, horrible. Gross, disgusting. Definitely need a change in. So we'll give them a bit of a clean up. 
in the old bath and then uh, strip them down. Loosen these top bolts, that's nice. There's probably no oil left in them, but the one that's normally awkward to get out is the Allen key right up the inside of there. That holds all the gubbins on the inside together. So, best way I've found with those is with an air gun. Bzz, spins them right out. You know, if you've got a good air gun, that is. Hmm. Anyway. Let's clean up all this snot, and then uh, let's have a go at stripping them down. Right then. Fork. Bolt at the bottom still tight. Top bit's loose. Should be slack. Let's see if we can get it apart a little bit. Spill oil everywhere. And then uh, see if we can take it a bit. Okay, let's um let's do it. Right, we slackened that off earlier, so now we can just grip and undo. Now there's a spring behind here, so when this pings off and smashes you in the teeth, don't come running to me. warned you about that. That's fine. Right. Right, these bits, spacer, sleeve, top bit, spring, they can all go in the power arts washer. Nice. These just drip forever. I'm thinking. Yeah. Right. Let's undo you and get everybody else out. That means compressor. Noise. Come on, trusty work zone gun. The reason actually I bought these long Allen keys is for this exact job. They're coming really useful. Have it to drive, get them on the thing. You know, they're special impact Allen keys. Grab hold and go.
Brilliant. Right, turn that off. I need you again for the next one in a bit. Little copper washer on there. Don't forget to change that one. That's unscrewed. So now all sorts of things should fall out of here again. Possibly. So that little screw went in there at the inside, goes into him on the inside. Okay, that holds him steady. And that's why you need the air gun really, because there's no way to hold that. Unless you've got special tool or you know use the spring force or something, just zip give it a zizz with the with the whizzer. Uh, dampening piston sealy thing. You know, lovely. That'll go in the parts bin, wash all that out, and now we'll take the seal out of there. Right then. See that there? You need to get the dust seal out. So I'll leave it on my amazing thing. Screw the driver in there. Dig out dust seal. Now we've got a retaining ring. So I'll just hoik this one out as well. Retaining ring hold the actual seal in and this is actually the, my favorite bit that seals held in now so you knock the seal in and to get it out you just got to get a bit violent with it oh. ah. hup, hup. close close more violent, more violence, more violence. Come on, out you come. Yes, out you come. Maybe I'm not violent enough. Stuck in there nicely. So at this point, you check for other clips and things, and then you think, no, just need more violets.
And there you have it. How to disassemble your uh, your forks. Right, let's get all this cleaned up and some new stuff on. Where did that bit come from? Let's do number two. So these forks are a little, they're a little bit nasty. I think what we'll do, we'll give them a bit of a whiz. On the old wire brush. And then uh, give them a bit of a, pss, 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 you know, clean up. Clean up the insides while they've had a bit of a hard life, my little things the dents and the dings so we'll just uh, we'll just tidy that up a nice little bit with a bit of uh, bit of tape clean them up give them a bit of a spray just to make them look you know a bit nicer that'll do for now Well there we go, looks a bit rough, but all the flaky paints come off, we're back to aluminium. That's no worries, you've got a bit more to do there, like, missed a bit, missed a bit, do that in a minute. Um, but we'll give it a rub down now with a bit of the old scratchy paper, and then give them a bit of a psh, 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 and they'll look good as new. Eighty, something like that. Just rough it up.
<laughs> wow, that's some good stuff. <laughs> yeah. Right, you watch that paint dry for a minute, because it's probably going to be more interesting than any of the other bits of the video. <laughs> We're back. I watched that dry. It was more interesting than the football. Uh, anyway, just getting an old bit of stick, a bit of an old cloth, give it a bit of a spin. We're just trying to get the, you know, the last bits of goop at the inside. Oh, it's perfect that is. It's lovely. Mm -mm -mm. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh. So that's a good job. Let's have a bit of a tidy up here. Tidy. <laughs> all the old bits of, you know, look at it all here. Should probably do this after. We need a bit of a reasonably clean space to put these in. Dirt, dirt, dirt. Clean, 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 clean. Dirt. I'll, I'll just clean those up again later. Right, that's better, clean, nice, tidy. There's a few little rust spots on these stanchions, tubes, chromey bits, whatever you want to call it. So I've got some thousand paper, only because I haven't got any wire wool. Anyway, battery's about to run out on that. So I'll charge the battery up and come back and do this. If you've missed any of that then, you know, just plain. Right, we've got a bit of charge left in you now. So let's reassemble the forks. All nice and clean, 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 clean. A load of fork stuff here, that's all nice. Now, some of it, you could argue, should have been replaced things like the bushes etc. I'll go again next time you do the oil do the bushes. Okay so this dude has this dude in it that's the spring for the pullback and because it's not an adjustable thing at all there's a tiny tiny hole orifice that's basically what does the damping. That's a big oil seal that fits up the inside. So the oil that's in the inside the springs is trying to get through these little holes. And it can't because it's a little tiny hole. So that's what slows it down. That's what does the damping. So that goes in there. That goes in there. And comes out there. That goes on there. That goes in here. Nice. Our little dude goes up the end. Now Where's that gone? Aha! 
So the hissing you can hear is the air gun. Um, I'm not a complete monster, so I'm only going to put a tiniest bit of thread lock on there. Let's get you up the inside. Whoop. Go on. Up you go. Get in there. This is why air guns are good, because you can just give them a quick zzz, because there's nothing on the inside to hold. I think we just set to one ugga dugga. That was three for good luck. So now that can't come out. So, next job is your top bush. That fits in here. See that's all slack. So when you're testing your forks and you get all that slackness, that's your bush worn out. So he fits in there nicely. Now what you should have is a nice variety of tubular dudes to tap those down and you would have if you're a suspension expert what we have is a little punch and a little tiny hammer and some patience tap tippy tap tippy tap tap Perfect. Okay, big washer goes on. Fits in there. Then the oil seals. You can put a bit of lube on them if you want to. Won't hurt. Make sure they go around the right way. And then again, you should have a nice dolly to beat them in with. If you haven't got a nice dolly, just go steady. I'm going to hold this one in the vise just whilst I do this bit. Makes life a bit easier. So work it round, keep it nice and square. Hit the end of the seal, not anything else. Nicely down. until you expose the lock ring groove get that one in just push that one in with the old fingers push, listen to it snap in nice and the dust seal you can lube that one up as well if you want to lube no. Squeeze. Squeeze. And then, again, should have a dolly around the outside. Just make sure that's flush. All the way around.
excellent. That's the seals replaced. Now we need to put some oil in. You can use whatever oil you like. Put gear oil in there, it'll make your suspension really stiff. Um, I'm going to bung some ATF in there because you know I like the colour. So no spring in there at the minute, nothing else in there at the moment so we'll just bang some in. That might do. But come and have a look in here. Come on. I don't know if you can see very well inside there. Some oil and stuff. Can hear it. You can pump it a few times. You're just getting the oil, the air out. Makes nice sounds. So all those little orifices need to fill up with lube for your riding pleasure. Okay. Don't know if you can see much in there, but that'll be okay. Good looking little hold of you. Okay, so the next job is to set the level of the oil. How much oil do I need to put into here and set the level of it? Now, that is something you've normally got to look in the manual for. And in this case, it's 106 millimeters from the top. So make sure that's pumped down, no springs in or anything. And then I've set this to 116. See what I've done there? I've added 10. So when this goes in, okay, that's on 116. So the bottom of that is 116. So I will get to see the oil coming up. So when the oil is on the 10, I know, using maths, that it's 106 from the top. Clever, eh? Right, you sit there. Let's stick you like that. You should be able to see what's going on here. And then we'll stick some oil in. How much you got to go? Ah, loads. More. More. Far too much. More, a bit, not a lot. Okay, we're on the dipstick. We need another eight mils worth. Yep. 
need to lose three. Now if you had a syringe with a bit of tube on, you can <whistles> dead easy. Add five. Perfect. So that's in, get the spring. Look, tight, loose. Nice, little washer. Fits on top of the spring. Spacer fits on top of the washer. I might just actually pump that up and down a little bit. Nice. Washer, spring, spring, washer, washer, spring, spacer, spring. Up you go. Top cap. Goes in there. Right, push and turn. Whoop. You stay up. <sighs> Thanking you. This is where you realise you've cross-threaded it and you're in for a world of pain. Or it's just on the seal and it's fine. So let's just make sure that is correct and we'll be good to go. Okay folks, that's how to do your fork seals. <laughs>